Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. A massive fire at the Riverton City landfill has businesses, schools, and residents ac across the corporate area in a chokehold this earlier today. As smoke blanketed the city, businesses and schools were ordered closed while many people experienced respiratory problems. Now, there are urgent appeals for the government to do more to prevent fires at the landfill. Kelisha Williams has our story. So this is like ground zero. I'm standing just a few meters away from where the fire started. As we speak now, it's mostly smoke, but I can see small pockets of flames on the hillocks here. But authorities are fighting the blaze from all angles. As we speak, there are truckloads coming in with dirt to control the blaze. And you cannot see it as well due to the poor visibility, but there's also a helicopter here also working from above to control this fire. We will get the smoke nuisance on the control. It may take us another 10, 12 hours, but we will get it under control because we are covering the area and we are doing it very fast because we understand the smoke nuisance and what it means to our, our, our residents. And the impact has been far-reaching. Residents in Seaview and Corville Gardens have been feeling the brunt of the smoke since the fire started on Tuesday. The concerns, mostly respiratory issues. The smoke affect me. It take me, me sinus, trigger off. I have to go to the doctor yesterday. Yeah? So it's it dangerous. A lot of persons saying that their the, the lungs not functioning well and they taste something in their mouth and stuff because a lot of particles in the ear. So right now I'm at the Seaview Gardens Primary School and as you can see there are no students here only a few staff members. I was told classes were dismissed from as early as nine o'clock this morning as students started to cough due to the impact of the smoke. Yeah, this morning. morning it was very bad. Um, the, the whole community was over chaos. I think um, it was so dark, you could hardly um, see around. I was also told all schools in the Seaview Gardens area dismissed classes early. In fact, the smoke was so bad that institutions miles away from the fire were also impacted. For instance, parents were urgently called to the St. Francis Primary School in Crossroads St. Andrew to pick up their children. The students kept complaining that they couldn't breathe. So when we went outside, we realized it was smoke filled. And I heard that Riverton City was burning. I didn't know all of this was happening. So when I realized this and my teacher, my senior teacher, she started having respiratory problems. Then from schools to businesses, several companies near the Riverton City landfill had to either temporarily suspend services or close for the day. From Nestle Jamaica to Berger Paints and even the Kingston Wharves. Garbage trucks also had a difficult time depositing waste on the landfill due to the fire which led to this gridlock. Now with the landfill fire seemingly like an annual event appeals for the authorities to do more. The government not really care about we not uh, none at all you know but what to do they make they make people go on the river town so what what will happen if you let people go on the river town and not the government and they don't stand a foot in eyes they say make certain things stay in our rules and regulations no rules and regulation, no did it. In the meantime, we were told the blaze was caused by a bushfire on the outskirts of the landfill. Kelisha Williams, TVJ News.